Greetings faculty candidates and as UMA's online faculty trainer, I wanted to welcome you to EDU 101 Introduction to Teaching Online. My name is Victoria Patrick and I look forward to these next five weeks as you begin your journey building and for some of you refining your online instructional best practices as it pertains to the UMA student. My involvement with UMA's education department began in 2010 where I was assisting faculty and administration around classroom and faculty effectiveness. As of 2011, I started to teach and uh, also have done a little bit of development within the, uh, of courses within the Health Science Associates program. And in 2012, I was afforded the opportunity to build and facilitate the online faculty training course and continue to develop <clears throat> the onboarding training and coaching and mentoring of new faculty. As the online faculty trainer, I will work closely with your EDU 101 course facilitator on enhancing, revising, and building the content of the course. Furthermore, continuous feedback will be provided to me regarding your progress as a faculty candidate. So as such, I will be your first point of contact regarding your candidacy, um, EDU 101 content, and the overall onboarding training and coaching experience. So please don't hesitate to reach out to me should you have any questions or concerns. And also don't be surprised uh, when you hear from me on occasion throughout your training. Uh, before I share any of my best wishes, I want to address some general housekeeping items. Our onboarding training and coaching extends roughly 15 weeks and the EDU 101 training begins the first leg of this life, cy life cycle as a faculty candidate. You'll learn a lot about UMA policies and procedures, exemplary online best practices, Blackboard, and even Starfish. And EDU 101 also serves as a screening process whereby your ability to meet deadlines, communicate, and adopt the UMA philosophy will play a key role in your continued candidacy. You'll have between two and three weeks uh, from the close of EDU 101 and teaching your first course. More to come on that information at the end of the training. Uh, and at this time, you'll be responsible for completing additional brief trainings and uh, more importantly, familiarizing yourself with the content and materials of the course that you will actually teach. As shared prior to uh, this week, EDU 101 training spans roughly five weeks and mirrors our student-facing courses. And it's not a self-paced course, which means that you will have assignments, a discussion, and a quiz due Sunday closing each week. Uh, the first week, we'll focus on Blackboard navigation. The second week, on establishing an online personality. The third week on student outreach and support, week four on online presence, and the final week we'll talk about course room management. Once complete, you will have created a repository of instructional tools and scaffolds in, that you will actually use in your student facing course. The time you spend in training will also mirror the required time that you will spend when teaching and facilitating your course. We estimate uh, roughly 10 to 15 hours a week. So at any point in time you feel uneasy, uh, whether it's uh, you know regarding the time commitment, expectations of faculty, or just overall you know UMA philosophy, please be sure to communicate with your EDU 101 facilitator or uh, even the online faculty trainer. So who will be supporting you along the way? You will have your EDU 101 facilitator who will be engaging in the course, grading work, participating in the discussions, hosting your weekly one hour live sessions. Um, your, so your EDU 101 facilitator will be your primary contact regarding things such as attendance and participation, um, assignment submissions, grading feedback, extensions, live session participation, and just overall course expectations. Um, you want to visit the Trainer Availability tab for information on contacting your EDU 101 facilitator. Also remember that your online faculty trainer will be your first point of contact regarding your candidacy, EDU 101 content, uh, and the overall onboarding training and coaching experience. Again, don't hesitate to reach out to either uh, the online faculty trainer or EDU 101 facilitator with any questions or concerns. So I wish you all the best of luck and look forward to supporting you on your journey towards creating an exemplary student experience. Um, 
you know, providing feedback on the training itself, um, being involved in uh, communicating what, what's working and what's, and what's not working is really key um, because our goal is to support you. So um, happy learning.